Compounding interest. So what compounding interest is basically you have an investment, you put a certain amount of money into an account, and interest is calculated a set number of times per year. Okay. So what we're dealing now with is this formula right here is for a set number of times that interest is calculated. It could be daily, monthly, weekly, annually, once a year, all different sorts of different ways that interest can be calculated and the formula reflects all those different things. Okay. So what we have is a is equal to P 1 plus R over N to the NT. Okay. And what I have written down here is what each of those variables stands for. Okay. A is just going to be your ending amount. Okay. P is stands for principal, another way of saying starting amount. So if you invest $2,000, P would be 2000. Okay. Rate is going to be your percent interest. So say you get 4%, you always need to put it in as a decimal. So that 4% becomes 0.04. N is the number of times per year interest is calculated. Okay, so if it's daily, you put in 365. Weekly, 52 weeks in a year, put in 52. Monthly, 12. Quarterly, means four times a year, so four. So on and so forth. Okay, so N is just the number of times that interest is calculated. And lastly, T is the time of the investment in years. Okay, so sort of a weird looking formula, a lot of variables going on, but overall, just five things you have to consider. Interest, amount you put in, amount comes out, rate, and sorry, uh, number of times it's calculated, and the length of time of your investment.